Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to airplay your iOS device with the Apple TV. Now if you don't have one of these, I'll place a link in the description down below for the best price, reviews and the latest model so you can check it out for yourself. Now this will work with any iOS device running iOS 7 or iOS 8 as I said, including the new iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. Let's get started. All right, so to kick things off, let's go through what you're going to need. So you're going to need an iPhone 6 or iPhone 6 Plus or pretty much any iOS device that's running iOS 7 or iOS 8. And you're going to need your Apple TV. As you can see, I've got the remote right here and you wanna turn on your Apple TV and you wanna be on the main screen as it is here on my TV. Then from here, what you wanna do is go to your settings application. And from here, what you want to do is go to the AirPlay section. From here, what you want to do is make sure that your AirPlay is set to on. So if it's set to off, just click the middle button and it'll turn it on. And you can play around with these settings here. But as far as working with the Apple TV and AirPlay, the way they're set up right here will work for you. Also, to ensure that everything is running smoothly, we want to update our Apple TV or make sure it's fully updated. So in the settings application again, Click General, then go down to where it says Software Updates, and then click Update Software, and it'll let you know if your Apple TV is up to date. Next, you wanna open up your control center on your iOS device, and you wanna tap on where it says AirPlay. Once you do that, it'll bring up this page here, and by default, it'll be set to your iOS device. And what we wanna do is tap on Apple TV, and then turn on Mirroring. Once you've done that, you'll notice that everything will appear on your TV via the Apple TV and AirPlay on your iPhone. So if we open up any application, so I've got the score application here and it's got different things about hockey and different sports like that, it'll scroll through and you can see kind of a little bit blurry on my iPhone, but you can see that whatever shows up on the iPhone is showing up on the screen. And with things like games, so if you were playing, let's say, Clash of Clans, and you were playing that, it'll go and turn from portrait mode to landscape mode. So you can see on my iPhone here, it's looking exactly the same as it looks on screen, and pretty much anything that I do on the iPhone here, so I'll try to show you, will happen on screen. So if I zoom in, you'll get to see it zoomed in. And the quality actually looks a lot better than what you guys are seeing on the camera right now, because I am shooting this with a camera rather than just screen recording it to you. But uh, pretty much everything will work exactly the same way. And it's great, especially if you wanna watch YouTube or you wanna watch other videos or if you just want to use your iPhone or iOS device and have a larger screen. So obviously when you're done, you're going to want to turn off the AirPlay feature. So that's just as simple as turning it on. So open up the control center, tap on the AirPlay feature, turn off the mirroring and then select your iPhone up top and the TV will go back to the Apple TV and your iPhone will return back to its normal usage and you're no longer connected via AirPlay. All right, so that's how you AirPlay with the iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, or pretty much any iOS device running iOS 7 or iOS 8. Now, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment box down below. And as I said, if you're looking to pick up one of these, there's a link for that in the description as well. Hopefully you guys found this video informational, helpful, and enjoyable. If you did, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one, and to be notified when I post them. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.